I'm Jay Doolin from the uh, Foundation for Educational Administration, here with one of our uh, speakers at the 2010 Fall Conference, uh, Sandra Paul, uh, Technology Coordinator for the Saraville Public Schools. Yes. Sandra, you had a very interesting topic. Should um, cell, ban uh, cell phones uh, be banned or used as part of the educational system? Yeah. Um, how did you um, come to that as a topic, and is there a yes or no answer to that question? Well, first, the thing, is, the reason I came up with the topic is because there are so much questions about using technology implementation in a school, and the problem is, is that we are actually the kids are walking in the school with technology, but we're telling them to turn it off. Mm -hmm. And most school districts can't afford to do a complete implementation of technology because it means that you would have to have almost like a one-to-one -one initiative. And the cost of the infrastructure plus the equipment for every single child gets expensive. The child already has the equipment. Mm -hmm. So the concept was, how can you use what they already have as an instructional tool? Mm -hmm. And the thing is, is that with the new smartphone technologies and the new technologies with the BlackBerry and the iPhone and the LG phones and HTC phones from all these different vendors, we now have the ability to use this, a cell phone just the same way as we use a computer in a PC or laptop situation. Okay. Can you give us a, a good example of how that might be used in the classroom? Well, a cell phone, to an extent, being used in the classroom, it can be used in several ways. One is that because um, you're going to use a smartphone, you have internet access. So to an extent, the students can use it for instant information you know, regarding doing any form of research that they could do. The other part of it that it could also be used for to an extent is as a response unit to a question a teacher might have in a class. So for a survey, one of the things that maybe you want to find out to an extent, um, what was their opinion about a color? Let's say, how many kids like the color blue? With their cell phones using pollingeverywhere.com, they can use and text into it and write on a computer screen or some or, or you know with a teacher, the teacher can tell them, well, 80% of you preferred the color blue, 20% of you didn't. So right then and there, you get an instant um, assessment knowing exactly how you should deal with the situation of the color blue. But there are other things that you can use it for besides that. There's a calendar section of it. Uh, there's also navigation, GPS. There's a, because of the camera, now you have the ability to not only take uh, pictures for archiving, but also you can also video record for archiving. So a student could actually record a conversation in a foreign language. Mm -hmm. And you could do from that, there could be collaboration between who's recording and who's making the speech and to an extent see if the accents are correct, did they pronounce certain words correctly, um, was the content of what the speaker saying um, dealing with exactly what needed to be discussed as far as the person who did the recording. So you have the ability with this small little innovative device that they walk into the classroom with already to be able to do these form of innovative um, projects. Now if school districts or schools are interested in using uh, these tools in the classroom, mm -hmm. uh, what should they be doing? Well, first, first and foremost, the biggest thing is to get buy-in. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to get teacher buy-in, you have to get um, administrator buy-in, but you also have to get to inform your parents and get parent buy-in too. So I always say the first step is involve everyone that's going to be involved in the project. So even though to an extent um, it may be students, every student will say yes. But the parent of the student may not have the same opinion as their child. Mm -hmm. So because of that, forming a committee to discuss it, but then also formulating policy that is going to either accept the use of the cell phone during the regular school day, or you're going to say, okay, use it outside of the school district for instructional purposes. Whichever way it falls, you need to involve all those people who, um, who would actually have an impact on the use of the cell phone in the classroom. So all members from the community, and then to an extent, you can actually come up with a policy that addresses all aspects of my, um, that could happen with a cell phone. Mm -hmm. And Sandy, uh, one final question. Uh, what is the most important thing that you could tell principals and supervisors about uh, use of technology in school today? With the use of technology, it, is, it has to be implemented, and it's a part of life for these kids. These students today, and even some of us old folks, we have gotten so dependent on technology, 
we don't see it apart from ourselves. It identifies us. It makes us who we are. And because of that reason, it is, we are telling students that outside of school, you can be technology rich. But once you walk into that four, four concrete wall building, you have to shut down. It's hard to do it because what happens is that it, it has become a part of life. Mm -hmm. They're not afraid of it. We may be afraid of it, but they're not afraid of it. And because they see it as a part of life, there's very few children today that can see life without it. So because of that, why not use that technology to an extent to uh, make instruction different, but not only just make instruction different, but also assist these students in order to increase test scores, in order to show them responsible usage of these technologies. These are the things that we should be doing as far as a principal wanting to bring these type of things into their school because technology is a part of them. And, you know, we can't just say shut down and turn on. You know, it has, it has to be somewhere in between. There has to be a happy medium between the two. Well, thank you very much for sharing these insights with sure. all of our conference uh, participants and with me today. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.